Hello Year 11, here we are in F6. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to run through a practical now where we're going to basically verify the Archimedes principle. Okay, so it's all looking at uh, the new, this, this force called upthrust, which as I've uh, explained earlier, is the reason, that's the force that makes things float. Now the thing that causes upthrust is that when things float partially or fully, submerged in a liquid or any fluid, the, uh, the object will displace some of the fluid. So in this case, we've got a piece of glass. This is the thing we're going to investigate. If you put that into the water, that glass block is going to basically displace some of the, uh, the, the, the water. Okay. Now, Archimedes principle, like I uh, explained earlier, states that the value of upthrust, the actual force upwards in newtons, is exactly equal to the weight of the water that is displaced by the object. Now, like I said, that can be, if you have an object displacing some water, it can either be partially or fully submerged. As we see with this glass, because the glass is quite heavy, that will be fully submerged. And if I let, let go of that, that will obviously sink to the bottom because there's not enough, not enough up thrust to keep that afloat, okay? A bit different if we have a piece of wood. Wood is not very heavy, it's not very dense, so that, 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 that block has a, has a small mass relative to the glass block, and that's gonna float because even though that wooden block is partially submerged in the water, okay, the weight of the water that is being displaced by the amount of that wooden block that's under the water, okay, the amount of water displaced, the weight of that is actually equal to the weight of the block. So it's managing to balance it out. There's enough upthrust to keep that afloat. There's enough upthrust to balance the weight pulling down on the actual block. Okay, right now in this practical, we're going to base, I'm, I'm going to basically take some measurements and I've got a worksheet for you to do some calculations to, to essentially verify the Archimedes principle. Okay, now we're going to fully submerge this and we're going to cut, we're going to measure, we're going to measure the upthrust on this. And we're also at the same time we're going to calculate the weight of the water that is displaced by this. Okay, so first things first, let's measure the up thrust on this when it's fully submerged. Well, we need two measurements there. Firstly, we need the actual weight of the block. Okay. Now I've got a Newton meter here. Now if I... Don't know whether you can read, is that... There you go, I think that, that's, that was good. Now the weight... That's the force pulling down on that glass block is 1.0 Newtons. So that just needs to be written down. 1.0. Now, if we fully submerge, if we fully submerge this, the Newton meter reading is going to go down. Now, the Newton meter reading now is 0.6 Newtons. Okay, that's because there's still one Newton, 1.0 Newtons pulling down, pulling down on the glass block, but there's now 0.4 Newtons of upthrust pushing it back up. So 0.4 pushing up and 1.0 pulling down gives us this value here. So I would say that the upthrust on that glass block, because the, meet, the reading, the force meter reading is 0.6 newtons, the upthrust must be 0.4 newtons. Okay, so that's the value of the upthrust. Now, we can now calculate the weight of the water that's been displaced by this when it's under the water. Okay. Now, first things first, we're going to find the weight of the water displaced by using the density of water and the volume of this glass block, because the volume of this glass block is going to be equal to the volume of the water that's displaced. So let's have a go at this. 
Might be a bit tricky for you to see, but let's have a go. Right, this is rectangular. The length is 102 millimeters. Okay, 102 millimeters. Now, the height is 19 millimeters. Okay. Can you see that there? The height is it's a bit less than that. Eighteen millimeters. We're going to go with the height is eighteen millimeters, and the width is twenty millimeters. Okay. So I'll just repeat those. Length is 102 millimeters height is 18 and width is 20 millimeters right there you go you got the, the dimensions you can work out the volume you need the density of water to then find out